Did you take a number? Yeah, we're number two. Uh-oh. I should have gone before we left. Finally, something acceptable for us. We must be next. Now serving number four. Please tell me they're going down in numbers. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? My wretched goodbyes. Ah, problems, huh? Let me find a stake to put through it. Through or on, did you say? On. I always get those two confused. Drives a hearse and keeps a pickle near his heart Or if he's got the strength of a 20-mule train cart Her cat and spider help chase down the bad rough cowboy Pyrodyne sews them up, sets their eyes in nickel alloy The goodbye family is not like you and me You are number two. I am number twenty-three. It goes to one hundred, then comes back around to one again. If I changed everyone into an ant, would anyone notice? I would. But then again, they hold the numbers. You'll have to wait. Are we in a rush? Wait no longer with Granny's timepiece. Notice how it has the beauty of pocket watches. How unconditional yet uncomfortably intolerant it is. It feels the weather and revolves around morals. Just show your timepiece and you'll skip the line in no time. Otis! Warning, using Granny's timepiece may cause changes in behavior, hostility, agitation, fashion faux pas, racial slurs, bouts of diarrhea, or death. There you are! Enough with these foreboding messages. Hey, put me down. It's just a job, kid. Warning, calling me a kid may cause an allergic reaction to the throat, swelling in the hammer toe, belt of diarrhea, or death. Job? What? Wait, now, you were supposed to pay us for all those advertisements we did. Fine, you'll get paid, but she has to let me go first. Not until you pay. This is a breach of contract. Orphy, give him the tug. There you go, Lou. All of your money and then some. We paid in full for the impound. Now, if you kindly give us back our horse and hearse. Right away, Mr. and Mrs. Goodbye. Man, I'm starved. I feel like I can eat for two today. 